Hey guys, it's Alive and Order here, and I'm coming to you from Queen's Park, and um, I'm going to pop along to their job centre. I had a viewer uh, get in touch with me quite a few times, asking me to do this job centre. Uh, they said that they were pretty bad, security was pretty bad in here. So, here I am. I'm going to pop in, see how we got on, and see how they react to a mammoth camera. It will be my usual routine, guys. Uh, I will pick it back up, I'll drop the camera, pick it back up when I get in there. And, uh, and yeah, in the meantime, if you do enjoy this video, please like it, feel free to share it, don't forget, pop down, hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. And we'll certainly see if we get in the last bit of this lot. There's a police station nearby, I will swing down there, and, uh, and we'll see what that's saying to it. But in the meantime, let's crack on. Alright guys, I've been thwarted, it's uh, an appointment on the job centre. That being said, I'm just going to pop in an entrance so you guys can have a look at this. There you go. Check the security in here. It's crazy. Let's get us in basically, it's not permitted in this office. Hello, sir. Hi, yeah. I'm um, sorry, I mean, you know, I have a problem in this. Yes, sir. Yeah, because it's the ring side, it's uh, appointment based only. No, I know, I'm not going into the appointment area, yeah. just going to stay here. Okay, but you're not allowed to put them Yes, I am. Here. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, no, I am allowed to film. I'm going to keep filming. Sorry? I am allowed to film, and I'm going to keep filming. But it's not allowed. We've got a sign outside saying that you're not allowed that to That sign film. means nothing to me, my friend. I've got the policy for the DWP in my pocket. Can I see it, please? You can, yeah. You want to see it? Uh, can we get one of the managers in front, please? I've also got your training. Uh, guys, can we get some downstairs, one of the managers, please? There you go. I'm on DWP. Thank you, sir. Don't we read it for you? So, guys, uh, can we get one of the managers here, sir, or somebody down here, please? The law on when and where filming can be carried out lawfully is complex, but in general terms, members of the public and the media are, do not need permission or a permit to film, photograph in public places and police have no power to stop them if they do. What amounts to public place requires legal advice, and where this becomes necessary, the office manager should seek instruction from legal services of the landlord. Right, sir. So, as I say, I'm not going into the appointment only area because I don't have an appointment. Okay. Okay, yeah. so, but I'm well within my rights to stay here and film. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, but you can do it outside? No, I'll do it here, thanks. Sorry? I'll do it here, thanks. Guys, I need the manager down here. See, I, can't, I came prepared, my friend, because I've also got the G4S training okay. and how you guys should interact with uh, people filming DWP premises, so be very careful. I wasn't rude to you. I'm not being rude to you. I'm, I'm just speaking very nicely. Yeah, yeah, I'm not being rude to you. I'm just doing a job. We were told that yeah. uh, there's no filming in the job centre. There's a okay. sign outside there, but you showing me something else where I'm calling the manager to come Yeah, not a problem. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not being rude to you. I'm just yeah. not agreeing with your diagnosis of the situation right okay but it's what we've been told yeah i understand and that we just our job. Yeah, yeah well that's a yeah. bit of a stretch i don't think you are doing your job at this moment yeah. in time my friend yeah uh -huh. it's a lovely building though mm -hmm. very nice yeah. impressive I think I've also got a lot of personal information sitting about. Have you got it? I just come in, so yeah, so basically he's showing me some that he's allowed to come in here. Okay, he's not allowed to come in. Hey, okay. How are you doing? Is there any reason why you're filming? Yeah, just because I want to. Why are we not yeah, that's fine, that's Yeah. I did say to your security. There's a lot of YouTube videos about it. You do that, you do that. You do that. Yes, you are. Okay, that's fine. Yes, you are. So I said to your colleagues, I'm not going to make my way into the appointment area that's only. Fine, I'll so stay within this yeah, little that's public area. Yeah, that's what I found. Yeah. So make sure that you're not taking anything that's outside of anything else. Uh, so it's up to you guys to protect. Yeah. But what, what, what I will say, my friend, is I've recorded some personal information. So that's classified as a data breach. So, so you're now obligated to inform the ICO that there's, so why there's been a data breach. So you've got a time limit, 72 hours, to let the ICO know that there's been a data breach. 
Ah, sí, yo soy G4S handling people's personal information, I don't believe that's part of their job either guys, I'm pretty sure they're not authorised to be doing that sort of stuff. He's on the phone too. So the apartment list has been open. The apartment list of person's name. So I've got a person's He's on the ball. If that's him, mate, uh, informing the superiors of the data breach, he's on point today, you know. Fair play to him. Boss, how do you get access to the public computers? Do you need to book it or something? You have to, you have to be on um, my. It's a apartment based family. Right, so, so you. So if you've got an apartment, then yes, you can use it. Yeah. So is it, is it like for job searching and stuff like that? Uh, yeah. So if I was a job seeker, yeah. um, could I like, is there somewhere I could... If you've got an appointment, yeah, yeah, yeah. So where do I get that appointment from? Where do I get the appointment from? So you've got to be on benefits, obviously, yeah. Um, but so do you... And if, that's, and if this is your, if this is your area and this is your job centre, then you'll be allowed in. Right, okay. Uh, maybe so do, do you just phone up to make an appointment or do you do it online? What's the process for that? Depends if it works on your passport. Does it? Right, uh, okay. For me, I'll break. So that's just the same. Uh, same. Uh, why? Uh, why? Uh, why? Uh, He's on the front of the police. He's given my description. Is he, is he phoning the police? Yeah, oh, interesting. No, I said he's obviously, when I ask him the question, he's fine. He's quite as polite. He can say he's here to record and he's allowed to record in front, which is fine. But the only concern is he has taken pictures, videos of. Information that is left to be kept. That's one of the concerns. That's one of the concerns. Guys, let me have a scooter on. He works here. I thought I had scooters in here. Sorry, you're looking to me or? I don't know. I was just curious as to why that gentleman was allowed in with a scooter when. He walks here. That's one rule for one. Oh, yeah, for yeah, yeah, he walks here, he walks here. Did you phone the police? Yes. Why did you phone the police, my friend? I, I, I just need to find out. Yeah. yeah. Like, not, I, like I said. I've not been hostile, have I? No. No. I, it, it didn't mean something saying that. I didn't say that either. Yeah, I did hear that. You were very, you, you, you spoke very highly of me, actually. I was surprised. You're not putting in trouble. You're within your right. My only concern is... Yeah, the data breach. The data breach. So the data breach, yeah, you know that the obligation is on you to protect that, though it's yeah, not that, on that you. That's fine. So yeah. that's what we're going to deal with. So if you can throw down, I'm happy with are you. The, if you can't even do what you have to do. Like are said, are the police coming out? Are they sending someone out? E, yes, someone's at home. Okay, I'm going to wait then, because I don't want them to hunt about for me. I'll, I'll come back. I'll I'll come back. I'll I'll next I'll to the next Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate your demeanour. You're very professional. I appreciate that. You, you, like I yeah. said, you're doing your thing, I'm doing my thing. My yeah. other concern is this. So that's what happen. Okay, yeah, we, we can check that. Not a problem, my friend. Find a way to fix it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm not confident. It's not that serious. Awesome. I appreciate okay. your time. Take care, Thank you. Right. right. So we need to. After all this, we go on to the family list. Yeah. I'll come back to them here. Right. Start the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how long it takes for a report from Mama for camera. The local call it. Is that police station down the road still open? Uh, no. Is it shut completely? I think so. Yeah. Is it right? 
Wonder but send them from then. It's the first time I've seen a job centre with like entrances like this. Yeah, it's new. Pretty new, yeah. It looks it looks very fresh, look. Right, so Hello. He's still recording, yeah? Or he's gonna start recording. What's gonna happen? Yep. I'm gonna lock this door. Right, okay. I'll appreciate it. I know you can say you're gonna wait for the cops, which is fine. Yeah, yeah. But I advise to lock the office. Why are you locking the office? So what what I'm going to advise you is if you lock that office, I'm staying here till the police come in. Yeah. So if you lock that office, then I'll advise you that I'll be false imprisonment, and I will but launch a criminal I'm complaint against you, my friend. You've been out and asked me to lock the office. So I'm not going to leave until the police come here, my friend. Unfortunately, that's the way these things go. Um, and what I will say is, if you lock the door and you lock me in here, you will lock him in here against my will. And I will file a criminal complaint against you for that, so be very careful because I'm very good at this. I do this all the time, my friend, okay? I know you do. So I do know what I'm doing. I know, uh, I know you're doing that. I'm just telling you what I've been told to do. The yeah. First time, so. Okay. So what you're about to do is potentially commit a criminal act, and I will pr let, make no mistake about it, you've been fine until now, but I will pursue a criminal cr a complaint against you, my friend. I'm saying this. I've done it before and I will do it again. Like I said, is it possible? The outside is only kind of Unfortunately, no. Can't I that. can't do that. I, I will leave off my own free will, but because you've phoned the police, I'm now obligated to wait here for the police. Oh, you don't understand the reason why I'm calling police, though. No, if you want to phone the police, that's fine. I don't, I, 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 I don't, no. I don't, I don't understand it at all. So, as I say, I've not caused any problems as of yet. Um, I've not been confrontational. I, I, I don't I've been, think you, have, you plan to do that either. I've so been very straightforward, okay? Yeah, yeah. So I'm here to film. You decided to call the police. We could have had a conversation about that before you done that because um, I think it was a bit um, unwarranted. I don't think you needed to waste their time. And there's no crime being committed, so therefore the police have no jurisdiction here whatsoever. If it's because I'm here and you want me to leave, um, that's trespass. That's a civil matter. The police have no authority whatsoever to remove me. So what normally happens is is that I'll leave off my own free will, but when I'm told the police have been called, I'm then obligated to hang about. And you know the reason why I call the cops? No, I don't. But like I said, you have to the information. Okay, the yeah, so GDPR breach. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. the reason why. So you do understand that with GDPR, as, as the data controller, it's up to you guys to, to monitor that and protect that at all we, costs. That's where, like I said, we're dealing with that. Yeah, and and I told you guys about the fact that I'd picked up in film. If, if I didn't need to do that. I was very like upfront and said that to you and told like you what I you said. needed to do uh, to mitigate that, you know. Um, sorry, Mum, sorry. But again, I don't understand why you've called the police. I think it's a bit... I'll come back to you as well. It's OK. OK, yeah, but I say, don't lock me in the building. It will be, you'll be holding me against my will and I will file a criminal complaint against you, my friend. You know, you've been really, you've, you've done really well so far, but you're about to overstep the mark I, I in a minute. Oh, no, 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 um, no, if you do lock me in the building. I've, I've seen a lot of his videos. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So I know what you're doing. Yeah. You understand? But I also have a duty to do that as well. You understand that a bit? Okay, but your duties don't extend to breaking the law, my friend. I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying I'm going to lock you inside. Okay. I said I need to lock the door if okay. you can go outside. I'm not going to go out. Uh, exactly. No. So, so that's the massive complaint. So okay. You're not going to go. No, right. I'll go up my own free will, but I need to wait for the police to come here because Absolutely. you called the police. Okay. But, but by, you, by you locking that door, you're holding me against my will because if, no, I, did, no, if no. I did decide to leave at any point, I would have to I wait. I said to you, you would be. I need to be outside so I can lock the door. Okay. So but I, you say you're not leaving. I'm not going to force you out. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So if you do lock the door, completely fine. You do that, but I, I, be aware. Again. I, no, I'm I, not I, do that. I will, I will file a criminal complaint. I don't want you to do that. I don't think we need to escalate things to that ma to that manner. Um, I need to come back to you. Okay. Yeah. You do that. Yeah. Not a problem. Yeah. Hey, yeah, uh, you alright? Maybe here in the next 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. How did your meeting go? Okay? I've had a couple of minutes. Just kind of speak to me. Yeah, okay. Did you leave me busy anyway? 15 minutes, so hang about. Is that alright, yeah? Yeah, it's gonna be fine, yeah. I was gonna give them 10, but I'll give them 15, why not? Uh, jobs in the Not at all, no, just uh, so basically it's sort of taxpayer funded, isn't it? So I like to see sort of how tax money's being spent. So that's pretty much why I do it, just come see. And then obviously there's the whole 
uh, public photography. So um, it gets criminalised quite a lot where people go about and, like for example, your colleagues phone the police for something that you shouldn't really have phoned the police for. Um, so yeah, it's basically just about that, mate. It's basically exercising our rights and um, checking to see where our tax money is being spent and. And yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. And everywhere's different, you know. Some places do better than others. Um, you guys have actually done not too bad, to be fair. Like, you've actually done okay. Um, but yeah, some places do really badly. Um, but it's not just job centres. I do, I do police stations. I do, like, the big government departments down in Whitehall and stuff like that. I go and check on them. And, uh, people on a power trip, that's it. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes... But it's surprising the, diff the sort of varying reactions you'll get. Like, um, I've been in job centres where I've had job centre staff screaming in my face, full blown, ready to attack me, you know, like just without even being me provoking them. Um, or I've been in job centres where they just can't mind, do whatever you want and they just leave me alone. Um, but it's, it's nice coming to ones like this because you guys, I thought you were going to sort of step over the line, but it's been okay, you've done really well. Um, and it's good, and your, your colleague, the manager, he seems pretty much on point, he's really good at what he does, so it's refreshing when you come to places like this, like, and, and you get sort of good interactions, we can have a good conversation without it descending into an argument or, like, or anything like that, um, because we're allowed to disagree sometimes, you know, and it's all about having that conversation. Um, it's just a bit frustrating when I hear the police have been called, because I don't need to wait about, but I don't think they're going to show up. Like experience tells me that they probably won't probably won't turn up, so I'll make a move soon enough. Um, but yeah, no one else been here yet to do a bit of filming. No. No. Right. Okay. So I don't normally do job centres at an appointment only, um, just because once once I go past that barrier, I have no right to be there. I only go to places where I'm I'm legally allowed to be, and that's the whole point. But yeah, someone wrote to me about this place. Some of them did. I don't know if it was another job centre on Queen's Park, but they, they wrote to me a few times on the email saying um, you need to do Queen's Park job centre. The security in there are out of control, they're all tyrants, so they're all like, you need to go and check it out. And um, it doesn't match up with what I've seen. You guys have been okay. Well, that's so, the people that do that, they come in, they come in there with the type of behaviour, expecting things to get handed on a plate. Yeah, yeah. There's people out there with genuine problems that yeah. can't get help. Yeah. So when you see entitled behaviour, that's what we're like, hold on, you can't do that. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, we're all working. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Like, I mean, there's poverty still in, the, in London and in the UK. I of mean, course there is, yeah. There's people out there, there's kids out there that have got that gold bed without dinner and then you yeah. don't come yeah. here. Causing a scene. Yeah. Expecting to get paid out for what? Yeah. Well, that's, that's what it is, just entitled people, that's what it is. You're just getting an axe to grind, you think, yeah. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I get, I get written to loads of suggestions of places to go. Some of them, they are pretty bad. Yeah. Um, but there is ones like this where, like, yeah. what they've told me about the security here isn't matching up with what I'm seeing on the ground. Like, you guys... It's yeah, you may, you may not let me be in here, but you're not being abusive. You're not you're not harassing me or anything, look. Like, you know, look. Like, so, you've done really well. But I'm going to make a move, because I don't think the police are going to turn up. Yeah. But, um... Tell your manager colleague, he's, he's alright, he's done okay, and you guys done okay as well. I really appreciate your time, yeah? No worries, Have a good day, gentlemen, yeah? Bye-bye. Bye -bye. So, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Queen's Park Job Centre. Actually done, oh. Just the same, the man going to turn up. Yo, how are you doing? I was just about to run away from you there. Yeah, how are you doing, you alright? Yeah, yeah. I, I was waiting for ages for you. Oh, it's fine. Is everything peaceful? Yeah, everything's alright, yeah, yeah. Just having a, a very good conversation with uh, these fine gentlemen. You know, I think uh, the manager was a bit worried because I'd caught some um, personal details on the documentation, um, which I told him about. I said I've caught some personal details. You're obligated. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've told, I told him that. Uh, I wasn't. I was upfront about it. Um, but as GDPR, the duty's on them to protect that information. It's not on me. Yeah, it's fair enough, no, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Pardon? It's fair enough, though. Well, it's fair enough. For them to try and protect. Oh yeah, 100%, yeah of course, that's what they should do. Um, I don't think it's fair enough that they've phoned the police for a GDPR breach that's not really... Yeah. Um, I think He's the man at the moment. Hey. Oh, yeah, you alright? Yeah, I'm alright, fine. Sorry to worry you guys, so I think he explained everything that happened. 
Uh, no, we've always just arrived. Yes, yes. Yeah. And he's, that's fine. He's been pretty. No, no. Like I said, okay. he's been cool. Everything. <laughs> so the only my only concern is he has access to yeah, he has yeah. access to. I'm just like to put that information. And a lot of people sign in and out. Yeah, the people put the details and stuff like that. That's the only thing that I'm um, concerned about. Are you, are you here to get a job? Pardon? Are you here to get a job? No, I'm, I'm, I, so basically, uh, I think you might know what this is, but I go about filming public places. Yeah. Um, okay. So I came here to film. And as I say, I just came in here, I told the, told the gentleman from straight away that I'm not going to go into the private areas. I'm going to stay yeah. on this side of the barriers. I'm not even going to attempt to go in there. Mm -hmm. And I just came in to have a look around. It's a new job centre. Um, it's not long open. Mm -hmm. And I happened to catch some of the personal information on there. So I told him about it. I said, by the way, I've caught some personal details. That's defined as a data breach. So you're now obligated to inform the ICO within 72 hours. Mm -hmm. um, so they then covered up that data to stop any more further breaches. Um, but then he called you guys, which is a bit confused about why he felt the need to call the police for some GDPR uh, stuff. I mean, ultimately, it, there's nothing around here that says you can't film. No. Uh, uh, so if, if, the, you, if you haven't got signs up to, to spell, well, there is if, a sign. If, if you haven't got signs up to say that you can't film, mm, that's right. Or there's no cam cameras off top in here, then he's all right. There is a sign outside. So there is a sign, no yeah. Okay. Oh, in that case, you can't do it. Oh, no, no, I'll counter that in a second. Let's let's not jump the gun officer. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me what you want? Okay, so what I have in my pocket is a copy of the DWP policy, okay? Where, where do you work for? Pardon? Who do you work for? It makes no difference at all okay. to the situation, my friend. Um, so, this is a copy of the Hello. DWP policy. Of course, have a read. So, if you read the... So, opening paragraphs it tells you about the public areas and filming in the public uh, in public areas which is what I'm currently doing hence why I said I wouldn't go into the private areas and um, this is defined as a public place I'm not trying to make it to the private areas and that's the way it's been for the past sort of 45 50 minutes so it's, so yeah it's only it's a public place if you're if you're coming in here because you need to get a job okay or you are here for an appointment or something that's fine okay. so, so yeah um, but just because the public can walk through this door does not make this public place. It does, unfortunately. You're sadly mistaken, I'm afraid. Is it? Yeah, 100%. Right. Yeah. So if we got the deeds for this building, then... Miss start of that so do, do, you know, do you know what the definition of a public place is, officer? Because I do. And what are you studying right now? Pardon? You, want, you give me your definition of public place. So it's defined in law under Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972, okay? At the material term of entry on payment or if otherwise that a member of the public has access to such as this. That's the same for a shop, it's the same for a bus, it's the same for a hospital, it's the same for the reception of a police station. Mm -hmm. um, material term of entry, on payment and otherwise, a member of the public has access to it, defines it as a public place. So this, you, this is, would you say this is a public place? I would say this is, yeah, this is, who owns this building? We learn from later. Well, we're using it from now, yeah. So it's, it is. It's DW. Yeah, it's, it's a building. Yeah, it's yeah. a building. Yeah. 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 Sorry, do you guys mind identifying yourself, please? Yes, if you don't mind. Constable Light, my show number. Can you read that for me, please? Yeah, November Whiskey 2562. And yourself, please. And you're welcome to film it. My PC Norgate from Cardinal Police Station is my short number. Um, can you read that for me? I could I don't need to read I could it. have an issue with my no, eyes. Well, you can film private three information, you can film a short number. Right there. Three points of identification, officer. I'd advise you to, to follow through with that. Can I have my bit of paper back, yeah, please? Sure, yeah, that's yeah. my property. Um, Thank you. I'll speak to him privately. So okay. I'll well, carry on. You've got an eagle. Just as I said, I thought the police weren't coming, eh? So just when I said I thought the police weren't going to come, I walked out and I seen them. Talk about timing, eh? With what you say about public place, mm -hmm. this is a public place that you yeah. are permitted to, act, to, to come into, mm -hmm. of which they're not permitting you to come into. I'm not going to come in for, uh, for a reason, as in to get a job, okay. or say if you're going to a shop mm -hmm. because you wish to purchase something, yeah. then that's a public place. I do you have can go in as a customer. No, if you're coming in here um, to either provoke or antagonise, I, I don't know. Not at all. I, there's always two sides to every story, mm -hmm. okay? But it, it's no longer a public place if you do not have permission from the people that. Have that actually run this. Okay. And they do not give you permission to go in here. Okay. There, mm -hmm. it's public. 
That's fine. Okay, now the whole place is public, but that's up for debate. How, have you got the deeds for this property? Pardon? Have you got the deeds I, I for this property? I don't need the deeds for the property. Right. Okay. So as soon as because you I know the legislation as involved. As soon as you pass through these doors yep. into these premises, mm -hmm. if you are coming for a job, mm -hmm. or if you are coming to, I don't know, an appointment or something like that, mm -hmm. you're right, it's a public place. Okay. And they are permitting you to enter. Yeah. Okay? If you change that, and you're just here to provoke somebody and they don't wish to have you on their premises, okay. you're no longer on a, a public place, it's private property and they're asking you to leave. Okay, that's it is only a civil matter, that's it's not something I can arrest you for, yeah, I understand but that. at the same time it's civil trespass. Yeah. So I've already informed them, civil trespass, the police have no jurisdiction. That's up for debate. Obviously, you've made your mind up as to what, what yeah, yeah. what's defined as a public place and what's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I obviously disagree with that uh, assumption that you've made. That's fine. Um, but yeah, we're sort of at an impasse. I was actually on my way out. I'd been waiting that long for you guys. And we I was, just started. I, I was, I was um, heading. I think ultimately, um, all, all we, we didn't know what we were coming to, whether yeah. we were uh, fighting and arguing. No, no, no. We just that. want to make sure there's no breach of the peace. No, no, Which all. we would have a power for, because if there's abusive behaviour that's provoking people, then obviously we'd have to take some sort of action. What do you um, think, gentlemen? Have I been abusive? Has the conversation been okay? Like yeah, said, there you go. And we haven't come in blazing with handcuffs, have we? Not at all. To to uh, but I'm, um, big mistake. I just politely ask that, yeah, it's civil trespass. They're not permitting you to be here mm -hmm. just to prevent a breach of the peace and everybody's happy. Okay. We'll just all get on with our Sorry, day. Can we'll you def define a breach of the peace for me, please? The section in which I'm talking about mm -hmm. is any abusive behaviour which yeah. might provoke a response okay. from somebody. That's not happened as of yet. It's not going to happen. That's what I'm asked. Yeah. So, so yeah. Well, like, so I, I'm not saying it has. Mm -hmm. I'm saying we were just here to make sure. Ah, that it right. Didn't okay. Happen. Right, right. Okay. I get you now. Um, so whereas you're saying, yeah, we don't have any powers for civil trespass, we would have a power for breach of the peace, but at the moment, it doesn't seem to be that. No, so not at all. We're just chatting. Yeah. All right. All right. Good stuff. And that's it. Um, I'm really sorry you guys have been called out to this. No, it's, it's fine. It's one of those with. things. Um, they just politely. That is. You. I mean, you oh, are. I don't think it is. You. In your opinion, the, the sign does say on this. As part of that civil trespass, it does say do not build. Okay. So. I don't need your consent. Sorry. And, and, let me go up top, please. That, just, madam, because we're, we're just yeah. trying to sort this out. Can't we? Yeah. Just escalating it matters. States. On these, yeah. on this private property. It's not private property. But it is. It's not property. It's not, it's not so, it's, so if they lock the doors at night, you'd be able to walk in, yeah. Pardon? If they lock the doors at night, you could still so walk in. That, that's irrelevant. So it, that doesn't make it private a public property. Public place means you can go anywhere. Pardon? You could go to a public place. Same yes, this is a public place. Right. Just like a hospital, just if, like if a bus station. If you, yeah, if you come in for a job, it's a for public a purpose, place. Yeah. Then the public are permitted access. If they do not permit access to the public, okay. it's no longer a public place. Right. Okay. All right. You agree on that? No. Okay. No, unfortunately. We're going to disagree on that, I'm afraid. That's fine, but you know, we'll look like, it up. Um, I'll check it. Because but the I, I, here, I, if, they, if they don't permit you access here, it's no longer a public place. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. I just disagree with your summary of it, unfortunately. That's um, we're all human, aren't we? But yeah, um, so like, I don't know how we're going to resolve this issue, because personally... Um, like, like I said, let's go back a little bit. As long as there's no breach of the peace, it just has to be likely. Yeah. Filming stuff could be deemed as provoking a reaction. So I don't know. Because so if somebody feels provoked, then we're okay. starting to look at different things. Okay, so right. I've had very little interactions with that lady up until now. Um, apart from when I first came in, she was here for a couple of minutes and then went yeah. back about business. Um, but yeah, have you looked up the Met's guidance on public photography and people filming and stuff I don't like that? Need to do that. No, I've, if you're I've not, not, not talking about that. No. The only issue I have is if you're, if, if you're filming. Um, Personal stuff. I yeah. probably want to ask why. Yes, I'm not ask uh -huh. these because you you've come in here where you know there is there is personal data of people is, coming yeah. in and out. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. Why would okay. you need to do that? So, like. Which is a fair okay, question. That, that is a fair question. You know, I, I, I'll try and work with you on it a little bit sure. without sort of. Um, coming across as rude because I don't want to come across as rude. No, so, fine. as a data handler, the obligations on the organisation, the company, the, those individuals that are handling that data to protect that, and mm -hmm. um, that's why there's GDPR re uh, regulations in place that that people have to do training for and stuff okay. like that. So, as 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 a member of the public, as I am going about filming and stuff like that, if there is information left out um, for me to see, whether it's captured on a camera or whether I've read it um, with my eyes, it makes no difference. Um, but the obligation is still on them to protect that to make sure that no one else has I'm access to it. Now. Yeah. So you're just trying to find the flaws, basically. Pardon? So you're basically just trying to find the flaws. The flaws? 
No, no not at all. No, no, not at all. I, I report on the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, so they are bound by data protection, yeah. just, like, just like we are. Yeah. So I didn't have to tell them. I, like, I captured it on film. I could have kept Stum and not said anything, and this probably would never have happened. No, I, I, I informed him that I'd seen it. Was, yeah. was, why would you have an interest in people's personal data? I don't have an interest in people's personal data. So I'm not, not going out my way to harvest people's personal information, but as they're um, handling um, quite a substantial amount of people's personal information, they're legally bound to protect that information and they should take those responsibilities very seriously. So when they're leaving out um, randomly for, for anyone to sort of capture it or look at it or read it or whatever, and they're putting those people at risk. Um, so if it was my personal data, for example, that was just left at the side yeah. so that anyone else could come and read it, potentially they're putting me at risk from fraud and all sorts of other different manner of nastiness. Um, so Obviously, you've just said it yourself. Mm -hmm. What our concern is... Uh, other people at risk of fraud now to their details because I don't know who you are, I understand that, but as yeah. I say, the obligation is not on me to protect the information, the obligation is on the, these it's individuals as organisations. I, I, I don't yeah. disagree with mm -hmm. you there, and my question is, is why would you feel the need to film people's data? So that's why my concern is. Like, what is your interest in people's personal so data? What because difference? obviously, to get okay. over there, okay. you've actively gone over there with your camera and you've, you've captured that, that data. So, so I was, I was, stood, so be, so I was stood, stood quite a distance away from it. Yeah. I wasn't hovering over the pages, so okay. don't make no mistake about that. Okay. Um, but at, at the end of the so, day... Sorry to interrupt you, I just want to ask you. So do you think he's captured any personal data? Has I have made, captured no, personal just, information. Just, just, no, Has he captured any personal data, do you think, from yes. the distance that he was at? No, because when, when, I, when I, right. I, 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 I come up from a break and I was told to come and see him, he just been my to say, you know what, I probably have some information, I've got some information oh. regards to your personal data. Then that's when I said, okay, that's an issue. So I turned it around. But do you genuinely think he's captured anything from where he was stood? That's why he said, and I don't, I don't think he had any reason to lie to me. So oh. yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh. Yeah. He's been, he's I'm, been I'm being pretty upfront about it. Makes no. So what I don't understand is. What do, what do you differentiate between what's captured on my film and what I could read with my eyes? Because I could just as easily read it and remember that information oh, and recall it, or I could film it and then look at it again later. Could There's you no put online difference. what you read with your eyes? Yes. What could you put online that you I read with your eyes? could put whatever I can see. Uh, I could film whatever I can see in a public place. Right. Would um, you say that recorded footage is factual in, uh, evidence, where uh, visual, where you type it online yourself, doesn't have any weight to it? So try and rephrase that for me, please. Um, so basically, in a layman's term, if you don't mind. All right, let's talk, let's talk about CCTV. If, if you told me, yeah. officer, I've been stood outside, somebody's just took my wallet, mm -hmm. and you're telling me about it. Right. Right. All I've got is your, your word, right? Yeah, of course. If I catch CCTV of it, that's factual evidence that it happened. Mm -hmm. Okay? You've got a recording of personal data. Mm -hmm. So if you put that on mine, mm -hmm. You've recorded that you've come in here. Yeah, and recorded your personal information. Yeah. Personal data. It's not a All criminal right. offence. I, I, I didn't say it's that. It's not even a civil offence. Let's go back. Mm -hmm. What was my question to you before? I said to you, what was your intention with that personal data? I didn't say you are committed a criminal offence. Yeah. So I could do whatever I please with it. If I want to post it online, I could post it online. If but I want to myself, I could keep it to myself. If, if you did something if, like that. Okay, right? but we go on what we do and what we don't know. You make so you, but I, I can see what you're getting at. You're going to try yeah. and make assumptions that potentially I could use that information. It's my to, job, though, to, isn't to, it? No, it's not. My it's job it's to not people. because no, 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 you're not. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to assign guilt to me for something that's not even happened. Okay. Uh, I, I'm I can, my words, no, I'm not. I'm not because because you're asking me what I'm going to do with information I've recorded. Correct. Okay. And you're insinuating by that that potentially this could end up in the hands of people that might have nefarious intentions that okay. may want to commit some sort of um, fraudulent behaviour with those personal details, correct? But is, is that possible? Okay. Pardon? Is it possible that a member of public could record something and put it online? Okay. Is, that, is that a so, possibility? So it's a possibility. Exactly. It's, it's a possibility. Right. No, no, no. Well, that's what we're going let me finish my, let me no, finish no, my sentence. No, let me finish my right. sentence. Yeah, go ahead. It's a possibility that potentially I could go out and look at that registration plate in that car across there and say I'm going to clone that. And I'm going to put it on my car and I'm going to start speeding down the M25 100 miles an hour every night. Yep. Okay? Of which you then could I could do that. Events. Anyone could do that. Yeah, of course you can. But until that actually happens, no offence has been committed. Okay? Me capturing Sorry. footage, because I can see what you're getting at. You, you're, I'm just asking you. No, you're not. You're trying to twist it up. And it's fine, because you're not going to win. Um, but even if I did put it online and someone then to happen to take that, the offence isn't on me. The offence is on that person committing the offence. And also the civil act, uh, the civil offence is on these guys for breaching GDPR. Okay. So it's got nothing to do with me. So 
it's it makes no difference whatsoever. So you could try and so twist it up and dress it up right. any way you want. It's just not going to work. I was just asking you. I asked you a question. No, you weren't. I can no, see okay. you're fishing. A hundred percent. So I'm going to inform it you is, something. Well, okay. It is, it is I'm, my I'm, job to, to I'm, fish. Okay, well, I'm, I'm very good at what I do. I do, because, look, I do this a lot. Respect, okay. respect, mm -hmm. you've got a hat on, yes. dark glasses Correct. and a mask. Yes. So you're covering your identity. Yes. Yeah. I could have a reasonable so explanation for all of them things. If I come in here mm -hmm. suspicious of you filming mm -hmm. personal data mm -hmm. and I can't see any of your facial yeah. features, I am going to ask questions because I wouldn't be doing my duty if no, I No, you're not doing your duty effectively. Unfortunately for you. Right, you explain to me why I'm not doing because, my duty as a police officer to come and ensure that the safety of the people here okay. and the general public online mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. right. Explain to me how I'm not doing my duty. Because you've made the schoolboy error, and that is a schoolboy error. Is what you're doing is you're trying to put the responsibility of that that information being captured on film at my my door. Instead of the people who has the, res the legal obligation to protect it, you that's have. What that's, that's what no, you've been no, trying no, to do. You have. For data protection. Yeah. So why then would you then question me as to what happens with that information, where it's going to go, who's going to have access to yourself, it? You take it upon yourself to come in here I do. and film personal yeah, data. I do. Yeah, I did. And I made everyone aware of that. I've not tried to deny that fact. That's fine. And okay. what did I ask you, which I've asked you like three times, what's your intentions with other people? That makes no data. difference whatsoever. Again, okay. that makes no difference, okay? okay. Because <laughs> until something happens with it, then there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, there's no reasonable grounds for anything that's, that's whatsoever. True. But okay, go on, listen, elaborate, listen. elaborate. Because no, no, no. it's going on for far too long. Yeah, um, I think it is. I think we've finished here. What would you here. like to do? So, yes. Can you just tell me? You can follow me, San Diego. Okay, yeah. Sorry. No matter the security that will stand next to it, it's not like they will let um, nothing happen. I'm not defending that. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose? What do you want to do with them? I don't, well, I mean, I don't want to make sure I lose information. One, okay. what are you going to do with them? So are you going to put it online or are you going to delete it? If you can delete it, I'll be happy. And I'll <laughs> nah, I'm not going to delete I've it. I've got a lot to do. You know, you I'm definitely not expecting yeah. to see you today. And I've got a full day so, you can deal with as well. I appreciate so, that. I appreciate that as well. And there's mm -hmm. nothing else for you can see. You said you mentioned in your video that I'm wasting their time. Mm -hmm. Probably there's something else. Like yeah, 100%. Well, because because so they shouldn't be coming up dealing with me for a data breach. Throw it to the attention of everyone else. What's the plan? What okay. do you want to do with this information that you have? So, I could tell you that I plan to either delete it, I could blur it out, or I could publish the whole thing online for everyone to see. I could tell you all three of them things. Okay. It doesn't make any difference, my friend. Okay. What, what I would normally do is, depending on how I get on at a location, will determine on what I do with That's it. Right. Um, so, I will... First and foremost, I'll check in with the ICO within 72 hours to make sure that you've reported data breach. Yeah. As standard, that's what I would do. Okay. Certainly, if I did happen to publish a video online, um, depending on the nature of the information, um, I may want to blur it, I may not. It really depends. Um, but as I say, it's... I could tell you one thing and do something completely so, different. So you can't tell me what you're going to do with the video. Is that what you're saying? But at this moment in time, no, I can't. Right. And I don't think it makes any difference, my friend. That's like, it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do it. 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 Yeah, we're it's met okay. policy. Yeah, you do. Oh, 100%. It's still met guidance. It's not fine. Um, you have a good day. It's not fine. Okay. Bye. Right, so. I'm going to do it. Awesome. I'm, I'm going with you now. Yeah, yeah I I'm appreciate your time. I'll wait for them to disappear and then I'll go. Yeah, 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 like no, I said, I need to hang about for a bit. As much as one thing, uh, yeah, he was quick, him. He was, he was, one, of the, like he was one of the quicker ones I've dealt with. You know what? It is what it is. Yeah. And I would, I would do myself part of it, yeah? Yeah, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Take care. So it's not very often we get a police officer that's wanting to go to, to those lines to try and incriminate someone because <laughs> that's what it seemed like he was doing. Clearly seemed like he was doing that. He was um Yeah, he was trying to time up nuts but didn't get get very far. Battle of the works, ladies and gentlemen. So I got a few minutes and then I'll make a move. Alright gentlemen, I'm gonna make a move. Uh, 
Thank you for your time. I really appreciate you being professional. It's a bit breath of fresh air, so thank you very much. Hopefully, you get that guy banned. He, yeah. He, yeah. he deserves to get banned. Yeah, yeah 100%. Well, have a great day, yeah? Bye bye. So, ladies and gentlemen, geez, I just said that half an hour ago, and then look what happened. That's been uh, Queen's Park Job Centre. Geez, oh. Talk about battle of the wit. It's that police officer. It was next level. He was uh, seriously trying his best to try and incriminate me in my words. Um, you could see what he was getting at uh, eventually. He was trying to basically get me to uh, insinuate that my information was going to end up in the hands of people that may want to commit fraud, health, therefore me potentially admitting to a criminal offence. Um, but, but yeah, he's... Yeah, it took me a while to figure out what he was getting at, but we got there eventually, and uh, he, he failed. They walked, they, they went, they walked, walk a shoe. Oh, yeah, I'm doing my outro. Yeah, I'm done. What's the channel? What? What's the channel? Oh, I don't know if I can tell you that. I'm fine, I don't You'll find it at Cruise Park Job Centre. Give it a couple of days no, and it'll no, be up. No, 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 I, I, I do what's up. Yeah, you, you've done okay though. You've done, you've done really well, so I appreciate like I said, you. Like, I've done, I've seen this. I've seen yeah, them, but so, you know what tends to happen is like... I'm all concerned about the contact. I fully appreciate your phone and the. I'm all concerned about that. Yeah. So, so what I'll do is because you did be, for, I'll let you know. I will blur it out, okay? Yeah. What you could see, there wasn't much that could be seen, but I will blur out that personal information. I would generally say that the rest but, is but fine. Do not because you, 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 you have to do your thing. You do your thing. You, you've you've acted with integrity. You've done really well. And um, yes, normally, when people phone the police, they, they tend to bloat things up to no, what no, they, they aren't. And uh, I don't have to do anything as of as of you know. Yeah. Ordinary. I just make sure that the information that's there are yeah. protected. And now would make 100%. Sure that it happen again. Yeah, yeah, 100%. That's all I need. That's yeah, I need, you've, you know. done, you've done, you've done. And this is what I'm asking, we'll be channeled out you because I just want to make sure that when, when it's out, this information, I'll either blow it or down there. But I'll, if you promise that it's not going to do that, I'll blow it for I, you. As soon as, as, as you've acted very, very, very professionally, I do appreciate your time. You take care, my friend, yeah? See you Bye-bye. So, so yeah, I'll blur it for him. He's done really well. And, uh, yeah, I don't mind doing that. Uh, but, yeah, what a crazy video. What a crazy experience. Uh, I was definitely, I was had to try and think very quickly when dealing with that police officer. He was uh, definitely on point. Um, he's up there with Mr. Hodgson. If those of you remember Mr. Hodgson at Boromwood, I think he might even have surpassed him in terms of how quick witted he was and what he was saying. Um, he'd done really well at trying to, to get me to self incriminate myself, but it's never going to happen. I'm not doing anything wrong. Uh, even though he, when he was trying to facilitate a trespass out of them. Um, but yeah, it's been crazy. Queen's Park Job Centre. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it from the police. I was uh, I was taken a bit by surprise. Um, just how professional they are in there. Apart from the lady, she was a bit gobby. Um, but the, the security, uh, pretty decent. No complaints really. They're all at the SIA's one. Um, apart from handling personal information and crap tell me not to film. Um, but apart from that, we seemed pretty decent. And then the manager guy was on point, he was okay. Shook my hand at the end off it, that's a sign of a good, good visit. And then the police come and just, um, they just make things worse. They just they always make things worse, the police, when they turn up. It was just exacerbate the situation. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it, feel free to share it. Don't forget to pop down hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Right, Chief, how you doing? Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next one. But until next time, stay safe. Bye-bye.